What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Just before we start today's video, I do want to say I'm still quite sick, I've been sick a week, so it's like the first video I've been able to make in a long time, which it really sucks, you know, I love doing this, uh, but let's get back on track. So in today's video, we are going to look at one of the deadliest decks in the game. This deck allows you to just steamroll through people, and if you don't get kills early on, then, you know, you can definitely stall out and still get big wins with this insane team comp. So none other than, well, I like to call this deck Egg Salad because we got Executor and uh, Grass type Pokemon. But um, of course it's uh, Venusaur and Executor. They are just so good together. I mean, Executor just by himself is an absolute beast. Uh, but yeah, let's check them out first. So Executor, 160 HP. So it has to be EX as well. EX Executor is so much better. 160 HP. So he's one tanky mother trucker. Um, we're doing 40 damage for one energy. Plus, if we win that coin toss, we're doing another 40. So we're doing 80 damage. Um, so this just allows you, if, you know, if they got a weak basic out, you can just blitz through their team really quickly and get a very quick W. Um, but he is so strong. He's like ridiculously strong. Um, yeah, and there's definitely other comps that you probably run with him, but I feel like Venusaur is just one of the best. So it makes sense. Venusaur EX, 190 HP. I don't think anyone has got more HP than Venusaur. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments below. But again, super tanky. Um, does need quite a lot of energy though to start popping off. So Free energy for Razor Leaf doing 60 damage. Not an insane amount, but it's, it's sort of decent, decent-ish. But it really comes down to that giant bloom. So 100 damage, and we do heal ourselves for 30 damage as well. So we're getting that 30 heal. So really tanky. It's easy to stay alive, and we do just knock people out. Um, again, it's four energy, but with Executor, it's pretty easy to set up. So yeah incredibly like probably this has got to be like top three meta deck right now crazy strong so of course we're running two Bulbasaurs two Executes two Ivasaurs two Venusaurs two Executors and then we've got um X Speed X Speed's really good because ideally you want um Executor to go out first so or Execute so we'd put out Execute first swap Bulbasaur back into the onto the bench because again Bulbasaur, very, very strong, but takes time to start start setting up. Uh, Pokeball, Professor Oak, you know, they are the staple of pretty much every deck. They just allow you to go through your cards really quickly and get everything that you need. Um, I'm a big fan of Red Card. Red Card can mess up any sort of slow deck. So if they, you know, they've got like a Charizard or Dragonite, you know it's coming. Drop that Red Card and you're just going to set them back quite a lot. So really really good card to play and then we've got two copies of erica erica is great for anyone running a grass uh grass type team because she brings 50 heal which is just crazy and then sabrina just i mean you could have two sabrinas or just one uh sabrina's great though because obviously we can just swap out if they've got like someone really strong swap out for a weak one and, and get that win but yeah so that's that's the team comp that we're running let's get some uh matches in all right, so we're looking for another one. Opponent found. Ma. Great name. Did you uh, did you think of that of yourself? <laughs> All right, so we're going first. Not the best. All right, execute. Execute is probably the best starting hand that we can get, especially with two Pokeballs as well. Definitely means we'll be able to pick up a Bulbasaur. And that's what you want. You always want Execute and Bulbasaur and Execute sort of gain in front and then Bulbasaur on the bench. Oh, fire. This is not so good for us. Um, definitely running a Charizard deck, which may be a problem. Nice, there's Bulbasaur. 
We're going to hold on to the red card for now. Just hoping we get an executor because that would help just a lot to chip away at Moltres. But that's the main thing is we need to stop. We need to stop Charmander getting fed. Okay, that's one, two. Oh, straight into Charmander. That is not good. Oh. Okay. I feel like this is going to be a really hard one. This is definitely not a good matchup for us. Um, obviously, we all know fire burns grass. But yeah, it's that Inferno Dance. So he's really going to sort of power up. Uh, Charmander. Wow. Four energy already. I mean, Moltres and Charizard is an insanely good comp. Okay, so got Executor. Sweet. Drop that. Uh, stop putting energy into Bulbasaur. And let's see how many cards. They got 13 cards. I'm going to red card them. And hopefully that just stops them from getting Charmeleon and Charizard because they're going to be a real problem. Nice. Uh, so 80 damage. We've pretty much almost taken out Moltres, which is crazy because obviously Moltres is strong. Um. Yeah, Moltres is probably going to do like 90 damage to us. Um, yeah. Oh, another Charmander. Okay. But yeah, as soon as Charizard comes out, though, that's it. It's just game over. So we've got 10 cards. So obviously another Bulbasaur, two Ivysaurs. Two Venusaurs, Professor Oaks as well. Oh, interesting play. That was actually quite a smart thing to do. Quite impressed by that. Oh, so now we just need to wait for an Ivysaur to pop up and we're good to go, boys. Oh, just 40. Okay, we've got both Erica's as well, so we can heal up if we need to. Just the main issue is that if Charizard comes out, he can one-shot even Venusaur. Uh, I don't think there's anyone that he can't actually one-shot. Charizard is just super strong. Okay, so we're down to 80. Okay, come on, Professor. Do your research. That's what I'm talking about. We're good to go, boys. I feel like this is going to be a pretty easy win for us. Damn. That was not so good. I just realized maybe that was a bit of a misplay. Um, just because we should have healed up Executor as a priority. Because I do not want him to drop. Um, but if he brings out Moltres... Moltres is definitely going to go down. Okay, we can we can out survive Charmander. I see eight cards. They're close. They must be close to getting their Charizard. Okay, so first thing is we're definitely healing up. Oh, not so good. So, going to heal up Executor. So that's 80. And we can't heal again, which is a little bit frustrating. 
um, that could actually like really mess us up quite a bit. Okay, Tropic Swing. I feel like we're going to win this, to be fair. Just um, doesn't have Charmeleon yet. Um, and if Moltres comes out, well, Venusaur can one-shot either of these. This should be a pretty comfortable win for us. But yeah, looks like Executor is literally doing all the work. And this is a, this is a hard matchup. Like we should not be winning this, but that is the power of the Executor. Okay, definitely going to drop Charmeleon. This is strange. The seven cards okay maybe they had a bit of bad rng yeah let's let's swap it out oh what? retreat because we want that 100 percent guaranteed kill and here we go Time for some overkill. See you later, buddy. And that's it, game over. But like, you can see the power of Executor, like literally just taking out their entire team of solo. Moltres was dropped pretty much like no HP. Took out two other Pokemon as well. He's an absolute beast. All right, guys, on to the next one. And we are going up against... Some sort of Japanese name. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments below because I don't have a clue. So drop in execute in front. This is pretty nice. If you can pick up a Bulbasaur, I'll be very pleased. Ooh. Oof. Dragonite deck. Obviously, Dragonite is he's one of the strongest cards in the game. He can actually one-shot uh Venusaur. Uh, I think only Dragonite and Charizard could one-shot Venusaur, so yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's not going to be an easy fight for us. Saying that, though, we've got Bulbasaur already, which is perfect. I'm going to red card them as well. Sort of red card at this point could be so crucial. You can really screw over the other player pretty badly. So hopefully uh, that's going to put things in our favour. And yeah, I have a Sauron Venusaur as well, just waiting, just waiting to be pumped up. I guess as well, I'm hoping that we can sort of counter Dragonite because the best way to counter is just to have loads of cards. If you've got loads of cards on your bench, Dragonite can struggle to get the W. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right, Machino going down. I wonder if he's going to swap out for Meowth. Meowth is actually pretty strong right now. Um, just being able to draw cards is really, really strong. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it because you've only got, well, look, we've, well, what, what, what round are we on? Like round five, four? And they already got 12 cards. So you can just literally just get all your cards that you need pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, just hoping we can get a, an executor and then we can really start popping off. But if we don't, Venusaur will definitely get work done for us. Oh, if they can get like Dragonair right now, that is going to be a problem. Okay, so... Because of the position that we're in, I'm going to do this. Probably He's probably going to drop me off. That's fine. We're actually going to retreat, execute, and going to bring in Venusaur. And now it's time to start slapping. There we go. One shot me off. And then we just need to take out Chinchino. I think they're going to surrender because... That's pretty much game over. Nope. 
This does 30 attacks for each of your bench Pokemon. Oh, wow. So a slightly weaker version of Pikachu, but that is a lot of damage. That's pretty insane. Okay, have they got another potion? No, wasted. Game over, my friend. That is the power of Venusaur. Let's see if we can get one more, because that is a pretty, pretty good match. All right, guys, this is probably going to be the last one that we do. Let's see what we're going up against. So we're going against Goik, which is uh, not the easiest of names to say. All right, so execute going down. Please let me use my Venusaur. Uh, I just love like that 100 damage and the heal. It's just so good. Okay, so we're pretty much going against the mirror. So it's Petiol versus Execute. I feel like Execute does have the advantage. Um, just if you have Executor, like we do, he can just start popping off and one shot in. Where with Petil, um, you need to evolve into Liliant. Does help you get more energy faster to Venusaur, but at a cost, like a really, really weak card. Um, oh, let's get some Pokeballs out first. Sweet, let's uh, drop Bulbasaur. And then we're going to red card them as well, which is really, that is just going to mess them up so much. Uh, it's quite funny though, like, I would love to see Venusaur on Venusaur action, because literally they're just going to be constantly healing up, but uh, obviously someone would win eventually. But yeah, I feel like we pretty much won this one already. They they are really going to struggle to beat us. I, I, I guess if they if they don't have Venusaur, then they might have uh, Butterfree, would maybe be another good option. Yeah, of course it's Venusaur. Come on, yeah. And now, guys, it is time to start popping off. So we, we do have like a little bit of a lead already. Where Executor hopefully is going to go through the steamroll and we are just going to blitz through every single one here. So that's one down. He's going to have to bring out Petil. You do not want to be using your uh, Bulbasaur. And our Bulbasaur already has that one energy as well. So we've got like a lead on that as well. Yep. And again, more energy is going into Petil, which means the Ivasaur isn't getting energy. Okay, coming again with the Tropical Swing. Nice, another one shot. Uh, RNG Jesus is on our side, guys. Okay, and gonna have to drop. Well, he's gonna drop Ivasaur. I there's no way this guy is coming back, but he's still got he's staying strong, he has faith. Oh, okay, things just got interesting. So, of course, we're gonna drop energy on Bulbasaur, we're dropping the professor. Maybe we are going to get that Venusaur on Venusaur action. Going to drop a Pokeball. Oh, we don't have Sabrina. If we had Sabrina, maybe we could have uh, backdoored him. But that's good. So 40 damage. It's okay. Got that 1x speed as well we just really need that Ivasaur okay two out of five I have a pretty good chance of getting it back
there we go and yeah i do say i prefer i actually love venusaur as a card but aesthetically both of them i don't think they look that great no not not a fan not a fan of the artwork there okay so we're down to four cards Oh, sorry guys, I'll be back in a sec. All right guys, so we've got Real Deal Junior right now, kind to join us. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go for Tropical Swing again. Can we just pop off and take out uh, Venusaur? There's 80, nice. Been a good boy, Zach, you've been a good boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But look, look, look. Oh, I just healed up. Look. Yeah. Oh. It's so okay. Shh, shh. Yeah. Oh, no. But I mean, we are going to get our Venusaur out now. And they've used their two Erica's as well. Then what are we going to do? Wait, 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 wait. We're going to. <laughs> yeah one sec and we're gonna retreat with executor we're bringing in venusaur yeah. and then we're gonna do giant bloom and there's no way no way this guy's gonna be us now no yeah exactly zach no way no way say no way no way no way even if he heals up oh and he's got potions this guy is the master of stall. Oh, and Giovanni. Nice. I don't have that card. That looks nice. That is a sick card. It's 110. Yeah, don't worry. Look, we're going to win this one. Yeah. So we're going to just... Well, we'll put some energy in Executor, just in case. We're going to drop our Erica. Yeah. And now... Oh, whoops, we did Sabrina. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Do you know what, guys? It's not easy playing, well, I say one-handed. I always play one-handed, but one-handed and then juggling one hand in the other. But we got the win. It was, yeah, that was a pretty easy fight for us. Again, I feel like Executor has a massive advantage over the uh, Ligand version. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash. That subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.